renewable energy and we're showing wastewater treatment plants, you can do the same thing. Maybe not a wind farm, but definitely solar. Every state in the U.S. has enough energy to take advantage of solar. There are really three factors. How much energy is available from the sun, what the energy cost is that you're displacing, and then what incentives are available locally. So those three factors drive the market. New Jersey happens to have all three of those factors uh, in its favor, and in fact is the second largest market in the country, second only to California. We've sold over four megawatts of solar in the last three and a half years, uh, which is a lot of solar. That's a, that's a small power plant. We've done over 250 homes. And the cost of solar will come down as production is ramping up. The meter's spinning backwards. If during the day you're producing more power than you use, it goes back into the grid. It literally turns your meter backwards. We're building a power plant, big or small, we're building power plants, and they really should be amortized over their life cycle. Once the investment is made, it's very predictable. We know what the output of a system will be in any given area. Our customers know exactly what that energy is going to cost over a 25, 30 year period. So solar is like a perfect hedge financially, because you know when you pay for the system exactly what the energy is going to cost. What SunPower has developed is a tracking system that will track the sun from east to west every day, every hour, so that the solar panels are facing the sun at that time. And as a result, you can get up to about 30% more power. Solar is a revolution. And if we manufacture this technology here and we export it to the rest of the world, we're going to create the economic boom for ourselves. And once you have that, that renewable energy, a way to capture it, you're going to be able to start storing it. You're going to start to be able to backfeed it to the grid. You're going to My house system is a little unique here. All of the energy here is generated from the solar panels, all of the electrical energy. I've been able to take that solar energy and convert water into its base elements, which is hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is stored in 10 1,000 gallon propane tanks at 250 pounds per square inch. So all during the summer, I accumulate over 19,000 cubic feet of hydrogen in those tanks. During the winter months, when we have short solar days, my solar system will only provide 60% of the energy I need. So I tap off the hydrogen. I run it through a hydrogen fuel cell, which converts it back into electricity, 100% chemically pure drinking water and heat. And I use that electrical energy to run my geothermal heat pump to heat the house and provide my electrical needs. So it's water to hydrogen, hydrogen to water, and the power of the sun does all the conversion. So the hydrogen is the storage unit? The hydrogen is the battery. This is the equivalent of 60,000 pounds of batteries. What I'm doing here is the ability to make your own fuel out of water. You're talking about true energy independence, and no emissions are created in the process. We use water to make hydrogen. We use the hydrogen fuel cell to get the electricity and heat back, and the water goes back into making more hydrogen. The reason I have no carbon footprint here is because nothing has to get delivered and nothing gets consumed. There's no batteries here, there's no nothing. Okay, we're going to put the gas into the fuel cell, you know, bleed out the air, instant electricity. This is truly the ability to store renewable energy and use it whenever you want. Weeks, years, months, centuries from now. Once you make hydrogen, it's forever. And you can't say that about any other fuel. What I'm doing works. Everyone that's reviewed this system or has critiqued it, it says it's too expensive. Um, it's not practical. No one said it doesn't work. And we're at the early stages of putting this together. This is how you bring the cost down. You assemble all the parts, and then you start to get out there and mass produce it. Funny thing about mass production and increases in technology. Things get better, things get cheaper, and it goes almost with every type of industry. And as the early adopters get in, it's going to bring the cost down for everyone. It's not going to be one technology, it's going to be a combination of technologies. Geothermal heat pumps have been in operation for 30, 40 years. Photovoltaics have been in existence for decades as well. These are systems that have long lifetimes and will reliably reduce people's costs of operations into the future. We need to begin to diversify our portfolio uh, as much as we can. Not all of these things that are on the pallet right now are all gonna pan out but we need to express.